Hey guys, welcome back to episode three of BGFC Weekly. I'm Marlena. And I'm Jimmy. And I kind of feel like we've already done episode three. Yeah, we recorded it, but we wanted to re re-record it and make it even better for you guys. Yeah. So We promised you all we were not going to deliver anything less than the golden standard. And you know what? Episode three wasn't up to the standard. So we're going to do this again, and uh, it's going to be way better, let me tell you right now. <laughs> so just to get started here, uh, we got a little, uh, we got a good warm-up for you guys. Um, just kind of to revisit season one of right. the BGFC Golden Lions. Uh, we had an 8-1 regular season. So uh, pretty good first season overall. Uh, only one loss. So, yeah, yeah really, it's, really good. You can't take much better than only one loss. It was a team from Nashville, but luckily for us, they're not around this year. So ain't got to worry about them anymore. 8-1, yep. and one, regular season champs, transitioning into the playoffs. Man, things were interesting that first matchup, uh, but they won, made it to the Kentucky-Tennessee Premier Division Championship game where they won 5-2 to two over We United, which was in Memphis. Um, first season, regional champions like that, or divisional champions, I should say. That's yeah, the Kentucky-Tennessee Premier I Division. I did just say that, didn't I? Yes, <laughs> yes, we, are, we were the champs of that. And then uh, we finished the season 11-1 to one in the Kentucky-Tennessee Premier. So... Uh, Overall, good again. Pretty good. Then we moved on to the national playoffs. Round of 32 down in Atlanta against Marcos. Nice BGFC 4-3 dub on the road. Huge. It was in uh, a UPSL stadium, so it was a big atmosphere. Lots of BGFC fans were there. I personally watched that one uh, from home back in Lexington. Um, so that was really cool to see on the TV, to watch the team to the city that I was about to move to yeah. do so well. Awesome. So like that was that was all last season. That's right. Moving on to this season, we have already had two games, one preseason, one actual uh, season regular game, season. regular season game. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we've already had two. Uh, preseason game was a 3-1 uh, loss. Uh, right. Didn't exactly go the way we hoped it would. But you know what? It was a preseason game. So right. we were warming up. Teams getting ready to know each other. Come back for our first regular season game. Right. And you know that preseason match, Metro Louisville, they're a good program. You know, they've been around for a few years now through some different names and stuff like that, but they are really, really talented. You know, they're going to probably win their national championship um, in their, their uh, conference uh, or the league, I should say. So even though the team did look a little sluggish, in my opinion, and we kind of looked like we weren't together hardly at all, um, in that first match, it kind of looked like we hadn't practiced much, but that's the reality. We hadn't had much time together. We hadn't had a whole lot of experience of getting to know each other at that time. Um, but, you know, again, I still stand by my thoughts. I, I didn't think we looked that great after the preseason match, but we had fun in that preseason match. Absolutely. So what did you do in that first game? So during game days, I work in admissions. And yes, so everybody who attends games, home games at least, uh, here at The Pit, the Bowling pit. Green Junior Highs, The Pit, uh, you will see me in admissions along with a couple other people working. Um, you know, it's exciting to see a lot of people come in, enjoying the game. Um, you know, the hype is really up there you know everybody's yeah. excited to come and talk to me about what that feels like what does it feel like because you're getting there you're seeing people that are coming in so i'm across the field and i don't see any of this so right. talk to me about what you're feeling from the people that are coming in well the first couple of games that we had were a little cold so everybody was coming a little in. that's very polite <laughs> they were the first one was freezing they were a little cold yeah they were cold um very windy yes. as well very that windy first one against metro louisville very windy yeah so uh people were coming in all bundled up you know but the excitement was there. Um, the season was just starting, and everybody was excited to be back in the pit. Right. So, um, yeah, just all of the kids coming in, families. Um, uh, we got to meet Leo. Leo, our who's Leo? Tell, tell our, me honestly, uh, Leo. We have a mascot this season, and for the upcoming seasons coming, um, a lion, as it should really? be. We have a lion. A lion, the for bowling the golden lions. For the what? golden lions, yes. His name is Christ. Leo. And uh, you'll see him around all of the home games. Uh, he was roaming around, doing his own little thing. Roaming around? Ro I see what you did there. Roaming, yeah. Mm, he's that a, was good. But yeah, so that's what we did up in admissions, you know, greeting everybody. Got to greet Leo, and, you know, it was just a good time. Well, nice. What do you do? 
So that's a great question. I don't know. Uh, no. <laughs> so as I mentioned, so I'm across the field. I'm in the press box. I'm um, helping with the live stream. If you are I don't know, far away and you're watching this on the live stream, I'm the guy saying really weird things. I really want to be the next Ray Hudson, but not everybody can be as magisterial as Ray Hudson is the Lord that he is. Um, can dream. Right. One can dream. <laughs> you can dream. Uh, you know, in that first preseason match, it was really interesting because I've never been in a booth. I've never worked, you know, scoreboards. I've never called a game for right. anybody other than just like, you know, when I'm playing Madden or something and I'm like, oh, he's going to go for a touchdown <laughs> or, or whatever. So, uh, by the way, that was my John Madden impression. I will never do it again. That was awful. And I'm sorry to John Madden. Please rest in peace. Moment of silence. But it's a really a lot of fun and a lot of energy in the booth because we get to see so many people. We get to see the social media people coming in and out. We get to see um, the photographers roaming around the field and like roaming. I did. I stole that. Yeah, that was very good. All right. Okay. <laughs> get my credit. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I give you the credit where you deserve it. Thank you. Um, so it's cool just to see everything unfold, and it's kind of like I don't know being the maestro. Yeah. It, you know, because it's like. You get to hear like, okay, the, um, the engagement team is out there and they're, you know, they got Leo and they're doing this, they're doing that. Or, all right, it's time to find, uh, you know, some kids to participate in the halftime game. So you get to right. hear all of this and you're getting to see all of it. But it can almost be a little overwhelming because like you're seeing and you're hearing all this. And, you know, for me with some of my um, shortcomings, it's not the easiest thing to take in sometimes. Right. And that's when you have to fall back on your team. And, yeah. you know, we've got a great team here with the club. If you haven't already... I've uh, gotten that from the videos and stuff that we're uploading. We have a fantastic team. And, you know, when one person starts to fall back, somebody else just fills in. Yeah. And you never notice the difference. So that was that was my first and second game experience. So you're just kind of like up there in the box, like behind the scenes, but also like front row. Absolutely. So you're like, if, you, if you've ever been to the pit before, you know, big press box on the other side of the field, real tall. That's you, kind of yep. out there screaming from the window? <laughs> and yes, I, I do scream from the window a little bit. Um, I think in the, the first regular season match, uh, I may have shouted out that our, our goalie was a, uh, a spider monkey just in the way he was acting, but we'll get into that breakdown here in a minute. But So if you hear those things while you're at the pit, hi, it's me. It's your podcast host. Jimmy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but before we move on to that regular season game, I know we had a food truck at the first preseason game. We did. Talk to us about your experience with that. So at the preseason game, we had California tacos there. Really, really good. Uh, we have several food trucks lined up for the upcoming season. But um, I did get the honor to try one of their tacos. Um, really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, food trucks are one of my favorite things just at any type of event anywhere. The fair, the a sporting event, just parked on the side of the road at Best Buy or some <laughs> random place, I, I will stop for a food truck. That is I, a BG ex, like, exclusive thing, like food trucks in the yes. Best Buy parking lot. Or Ashley Furniture. That's where I yes. saw California Tacos yes. the last time. Yeah, I saw them there today, actually. But, <laughs> yes. But, uh, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed California Tacos. And then um, at the regular season game, the Empanadas BG, which we'll, you know, get to, but also got to enjoy one. that so let's go and talk about like talk to me about you know how was your taco how was your empanada like give me that breakdown and i swear this isn't gonna be a full breakdown of all food not that's all another food. podcast yes we'll see anyways <laughs> but yeah taco was amazing empanadas were amazing i actually went back for a second empanada there you go. yes um i think mine was just meat and cheese so really simple Classic. really good sour cream on the side for dipping sauce Fantastic. Highly recommend. Um, come to our games, visit the food trucks, uh, just engage with us. We're we're here for it. Yeah. So before we jump into that first regular season match, though, we're going to take a short ad break, but we will be right back. Can you go to the store and get some ground beef? Sure. Hey, that's a lot of bags. I figured while I was out, I would get groceries for the whole week. Crossroads IGA, a fresh way to shop. And we are back. Another great ad. Thanks to all our sponsors for uh, sponsoring BGFC. Um, you all do everything to help us uh, get this club up and running. So thank you all for that. But let's jump into that first match. 
BGFC, Nashville Golden Knights, or Nashville Knights, sorry, that's the hockey team out in Las Vegas. Not the mm. Golden Knights, we're the Golden Lions. Oh, that's where it was, brain yes, dyslexic, it's crossing all good. wires, it happens, folks. Um, BGFC taking away a huge victory, 3-1, um, and to me, from more, you know, up in the booth, I had a great perspective of the game. You know, I'm not the best at breaking down soccer, so please forgive me on that, but I thought the team really had a great pace in the first half. A yeah. lot of up and down, controlled the ball a lot, um, and really even most of the second half too. Um, you know, we kind of got a little bit of away from it later in the second half, but that was again playing some of the younger players, uh, really um, starting to see them develop as well. So to me, the pace way better than the preseason match. And we did have, we had all three of those goals in the first half, didn't we? We did. Yes. We did. Yes. So that um, was a really exciting start to the game as well. I was in admissions, so, you know, it was very exciting. You could hear the hype from the crowd, people coming in. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, all three of those goals, I looked up, every time I looked up, it was like the score changed. We were just only going up. So there you go. So awesome. we talk about that. Like, what was the energy from the preseason match versus a regular season match. Difference? Yes, actually a little bit. Uh, we had a lot more people show up for the second game, um, the regular season match, uh, which was super duper exciting. We had a lot of stuff going on. Um, the Boy Scouts were there. We had uh, Kayo and Pike there. We had just so many of other, other things going on. Ginger Clary made an appearance. We had the mayor there. That's right. Um, so yeah, uh, Todd Alcott. Yes, yes mayor, mayor our, Alcott. our Mayor Alcott. Yes, he was there, uh, was on the halftime, you know, did our, what's the name? Proclamation. Proclamation. Wow, how did I remember that word? I'm so proud of you, thank you. But yeah, you. Uh, just like a lot of stuff going on, so you know, admissions was busy. We had so many people coming in, trying to keep track of, oh, when so-and-so comes in, they get this. Mm -hmm. And when like somebody else comes in, like let this person know so like we can get everything situated. And it was just really exciting for our first like actual season. I, why can't I say this? Our first season game. Regular season our game? Fir <laughs> our first regular season game. Yes. You got was it. was exciting. Thank you. Proud of you. Yes. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned um, uh, number nine for us, Nisik. He had uh, all three of our goals, hat trick. Um, to me, I think he's well on his way to potentially winning the Golden Boot for the conference. Um, I know there was another team in our league um, who scored a lot of goals in their first match. Uh, but I don't remember how their breakdown was. If it was, I think they scored eight goals in their first game, and I don't think it was all in one person. But you know, for us, we've got somebody who is already at the top of the league for scoring. Um, another player I kind of wanted to point out, um, number 18, Amisi. Very, very fast, running up and down the wings, um, controlling the ball, and really just had a lot of great uh, setup opportunities to get um, Nisik the ball. Uh, to help, you know, put it in the back of the net. Right. Um, to me, another standout uh, was our back line. That line, yes, we gave up a goal. We'll talk about that in a second. But there were so many times that the Knights would get close. They would, you know, cross half field, and it wouldn't take them two, three seconds. Boom, Just to balls clear back it. down. Yeah. yeah. Like they did uh, a great job of keeping Nashville uh, well away from the goal. Uh, and, you know, honestly, our goalie, number one, Mr. Cross, he was a monster out there. Is that the spider monkey? It was the spider monkey. Yes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stick with that nickname. We'll see, you know, kind of what comes out the mouth uh, next week. But he made some very, very impressive uh, saves. You know, there was one that he, you know, he had a nice diving save, looked really impressive. Um, but, you know, overall to me, yes, Nisik scoring the three goals, impressive. It can't deny that. At all, right. but to me, the th the two standouts were uh, Amici running up and down the sidelines. Literally every time I would would look up and we would have the ball, he would be flying down the field with it, really breaking the the defensive backs of Nashville constantly. Um, and then our defensive back and goalie, yeah, we gave up one. We would have wanted that clean sheet, but overall, I think that was the strength of our team in that game because it kept leading to so many right. opportunities for us. But but that's showing. Every single part of soccer is just like working right. super well together. We have a strong goalie that can jump and get all the ball, like can, you know, be a goalkeeper. Right. We've got that strong back line that's not really letting anybody pass them. And we've got that person up there that can, you know, get balls in the back of the net. Like that's, that's soccer. Right. And yeah. we're, we're right on our way to 
only going up. Right. I mean, we played one match, got one victory. I don't know how you could be or expect anything more than that. Yep. So, kind of peeking ahead to the rest of the, the home schedule, at least. Um, you can stick to all of our social media sites or, and our website for the, the away matches, but specifically talking about the home ones. Next home match, Friday, April 15th, um, against Deportivo, um, which is a team out of Elizabethtown, and that game kicks off at 7 p.m. Yes, and then they have a Sunday game. It is May 15th. And yes, um, that is a long break in between home games, a whole month. A whole off. month. I didn't even yeah register that. Yeah, yeah, so we're going from April 15th to May 15th is a Sunday, and we are playing Coptic Nashville City. Yep. So um, that's the next one. Yep. And that takes us to our match on May 22nd, um, where we play Iterbide FC, um, and that kickoff is at 5 p.m. And then the final home game, May 27th, it is a 7 p.m. kickoff at the pit versus Elizabethtown Ignite FC. That's right. So um, it, as of right now, we've only got like four more home games. That's right. So uh, there's still, you know, games on the road and everything. But uh, yeah, four more home games. So come out, show up. Right. Can't wait to see you there. And, you know, we've talked about the energy that we have felt from the fans. And the team feels that, too. And we really need people to come out, especially for some of these later season matchups. As the season builds and we get closer and closer to hopefully another um, championship, we need the support. Uh, so please come to early, come to the games. Don't just arrive right before kickoff. Come 15, 20 minutes before. Enjoy some of the festivities. Meet Leo as he's roaming around. Um, so hi to Marlena as she's in the, the ticket booth. Wave to me across, just randomly start waving. I'll be like, what just are they yell, doing? hey Jimmy. Oh no, is that gonna be a thing now? Uh, it should be. Okay, it should well, be. I'm gonna I'm gonna start a movement. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start a movement then. Um, so, as a reminder, our next home game, April fifteenth, um, we will have fritters. Will be there. Um, typical kind of game day kind of food. Um, for that, so that'll be a good food truck for us. Of course, the Boy Scouts um, will be there, um, you know, in the concession stands doing all that. H&W will be there selling our awesome merch. Um, it should be a, a really exciting, really exciting time. And just a reminder for you guys, uh, the podcast specifically is looking for a full-time sponsor, so please sponsor us. We want to keep this going. We hope you guys are liking it. Please like, share, tag, engage, comment, comment, <laughs> rate, rate, everything that you can think of, all positive, of course, right. please send our way. And yeah, that's, that's and if you have stories that you want us to follow up on, you know, we're especially in the off season, we're going to keep doing this podcast every week. So if you have stories that you want us to share, make that comment on the Facebook page, send that DM on Instagram and let us know and we'll start digging in now so that when it gets to the off season, we have plenty of time to, to get those stories written. So, yeah. But with all that in mind, folks, that'll wrap up our third episode of BGFC Weekly. We thank you so much for uh, tuning in and we will see you on the next one.